deep thinking is the foundation for lasting progress in any society. Today, we are focusing on how fostering deep thinking can solve complex problems, drive innovation, and create a future where sustainable growth is possible. Without deep thinking, we limit our ability to adapt and innovate in an increasingly complex world. Think of deep thinking like a fertile soil that nurtures seeds. Just as seeds need rich soil to grow, innovation needs deep thinking to thrive. By questioning assumptions and exploring ideas deeply, we can create breakthrough solutions that move society forward. The most innovative societies today and throughout history have embraced deep thinking, whether it's nations like Switzerland and Sweden or historical eras like the Enlightenment. Deep thinking has unlocked human potential, driving progress and meaningful innovation. Societies that prioritize critical thinking skills tend to lead the way in global innovation. To visualize the difference between deep thinking and surface thinking, it's, let's imagine a tree. Deep thinking is like the roots essential for a strong growth, while surface thinking is like the leaves temporary and quick to change. Surface level solutions may give fast results, but they rarely stand the test of time. Real progress requires deep intellectual roots. What we see here is a comparison of innovation indices between deep thinking societies and surface thinking societies. Societies that prioritize deep thinking, those that focus on critical analysis, long-term planning and innovation score significantly higher with an innovation index score of 85. In contrast, surface thinking societies, those that focus on short-term gains and reactive strategies, score much lower at 45. Societies that embrace deep thinking strategies tend to have higher economical growth and resilience. Let's think about Let's think about this like a game of chess versus checkers. In chess, you're thinking multiple moves ahead, strategizing for long-term success. But in checkers, the focus is only on immediate moves. Deep thinking allows us to plan for the future, ensuring long-term benefits rather than just short-term gains. So, how do we cultivate deep thinking? It starts with reforming our platforms. The platforms we come together, we talk together, we allow each other to speak openly about complex ideas. Also, for ed education to be more inquiry-based than student-based, student-centered. Beyond the classroom, we need to foster media literacy and encourage open dialogue, creating spaces where critical discussions can thrive. These steps ensure that deep thinking becomes a natural part of so social development. To reinforce this point, the data is clear. According to OECD, countries that emphasize critical thinking skills see significantly higher economic growth. UNESCO also reports that innovation is directly linked to how much societies invest in critical thinking and education. The numbers speak for themselves. Deep thinking leads to measurable success. In closing, deep thinking isn't just an idea, it's a necessity. If we want to create a future 
a future that's innovative and sustainable, we must cultivate deep thinking at every level, from education to governance. The future belongs to societies that think deeply and plan strategically. Thank you.